This Cedia 2018 coverage is brought to you by AV Science. Check out their site through the links below. And also stay tuned for an upcoming home theater podcast called AVS Live. What's up, YouTube? How are you guys doing? Chana D back with some more Cedia 2018 coverage. I'm here at the Sound United booth uh, with Emmanuel. He is the... Wait a second. Brand director. For brand, brand director for Marantz. That sounds pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, it is. <laughs> Not so much. No, I'm in charge of the brand uh, for Sun United, looking after the whole portfolio of products. So. Perfect. So uh, why don't you walk us through the new uh, AVRs that uh, Marantz has to offer? Yeah, so actually this year we replaced the whole range of AVR for Marantz. So we start the uh, introduction of the new model starting in uh, May this year, replacing the Slimline AVR, which are our NRs uh, 1509 and 1609, 5.1 channel and 7.1 channel. And we uh, introduce uh, additionally two new models also TSR 1513 and 1613 in July right I and saw those. yes and this month we're heading to the range the SR 1713 and we're also adding a new preprocessor, the AV7705. So those uh, new AVR are relatively important because we're adding a, new, a lot of new features this year to the okay. product. So um, I'm gonna... New features like... Exactly, I'm gonna guide you through those <laughs> new features. So we are actually the um, only brand in the market which is offering both uh, compatibility with AirPlay 2 and yeah. also with Alexa voice command. Oh, that's so cool. basically, yes, if you have if you are an Apple user and you have a Siri on port at home, you can voice control your AVR uh, using AirPlay 2. Or if you're more an uh, uh, Alexa, Amazon uh, type of people, you can also uh, command your AVR using Alexa so voice command. Whichever one you use. Exactly. So this is a great addition to the whole range yeah, of AVR cool. this year. It is fully available now. So the software release was in August. So you just need to download the latest version of the firmware, firmware and the yeah. AVR and it will work. So this is one of the first new feature. Another very important introduction for us uh, this year and we are actually showcasing it for the first time here at Celia is the addition of HiMax enhanced decoding. So from the SR 1613 and up for all the model we are also the only brand which is our offering all the all uh, that audio decoding exactly. for the IMAX enhanced. And I, 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 I have an appointment there in like half an hour to go check it out. To go so, check it out. So and enjoy I'm it. pretty excited. Can't wait for that. Um, Cool. Very yes. cool. So, and so that's the 1613 on up? And on up. So it will be also a firmware update that will come later this year. So we're going to start by the AV7705 and the AV8805. The firmware update will be in October. And then for the other model, it will be in January next year. Okay. So this is a brand new feature uh, that have been released this week and officially announced this week. Uh, content will come also later this year and will be available for people. So basically, there are, I would say, you no know, four main decoders capability which are available right right Dolby got Dolby, Dolby Atmos DTS X or 3D, 3D and, and we're heading IMAX hands and we're the only AVR brand able to support that wow. also so which is big that's that's pretty huge that's exactly pretty huge. so you Marantz lovers there's a lot of cool stuff coming out um, anything else Yes, so the other thing is because we at Cedia, we're making a big push to support the CI channel. So okay. one of the other things we're adding this year to all our AVR, it's more support for CI channel. So the first thing is uh, we're bringing the web interface ba back. So we had to, we removed that feature about two years ago because we did a change in the chipset we were using, but sure. we're bringing it back this year. So basically when you're at home on the same Wi-Fi network or network, you can directly access with a computer to your AVR and do the whole setup. And do all the settings. Everything uh, from that. And we're also adding support for Domos and IIG, which are services that help you to access remotely to your AVR. So if you're a custom integrator, you can basically, from wherever you are in the world, access to any customer AVR and change also the setup or the right. setting to this call, AVR. Or they get an email saying, hey, hey, this is not right. Can you fix this? And you're like on a boat somewhere and you're like, exactly. hey. You can fix it. So right, you don't cool. basically don't need to send a track to a, a customer house. Sure. But also if you're an end user, whatever, so I'm going to give you a, a use case scenario. If your kids don't know how to operate your AVR and you're in your office, you can basically turn your TV and your AVR on at home remotely from wherever you are in the world. So. Or like in my situation, like my wife called me last night saying, how do I get the music on? <laughs> I could just That's be like, boop, 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 exactly. you know, and we're good to go. So you jump Sorry, babe. <laughs> you jump on your Domos app or IG app, and even from your phone, yeah. you can uh, directly uh, control your AVR at home. 
So that's very cool. It is, it is a big feature for us. Very cool. So. Very cool. Um, anything else or uh, anything else Marantz wise? So Marantz wise, so the rest is, we had this year also a very big introduction with the ASA 8012, which is our flagship product 11 channel, and the AV8805, which is a 13 pre channel pre-pro. So just want also to reinforce the fact that because we want to make sure our customer always get the latest and greatest, sure. uh, we announced that for the AV8805, and it's still the case, so when HDMI 2.1 will ship, uh, customer will already bought the product, will have the opportunity to switch the board and to be fully HDMI 2.1 uh, compliant right away when the chipset will be available. Cool, so and like how long would that take usually? So, or are the, you the, projecting anyway? Yes. So the process will be really, really fast, right? It will be a time of shipping the AVR to one of our service stations, swap the uh, hardware in it and shipping it back. Uh, at the moment, we don't have a date for the release of that because the chipset is not yet available. Uh, so we expect that to be probably by early next year. So the people will be able to do that. Uh, so it will be, a, I would say, Probably a week process to do the, process. the change. Yeah, D depending and then shipping. Yeah, depending time. exactly depending where you live and depending. Sure. I, get uh, it. I get it. Well, cool. I think uh, that's it. I uh, hope you guys uh, learned a whole lot here. Thank you so much, Emmanuel, Thank for you. talking to me, and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.